Good afternoon, Durham. I'm Rod Jenkins, Director of the Durham County Department of Public Health. As I mentioned in last week's video, every week for six months, I've addressed you all in one of these videos, and every week you've watched and learned more about the state of COVID in our county. I will continue to do so. I want you to know that I am not doing this department's COVID work alone. Our health department has more than 200 employees and all have been involved in keeping the community safe from COVID-19. Some of you have seen this work when you have visited the Health and Human Services building. Our screening team stands outside our building every day when we are open, rain or shine, to take temperatures and collect information from visitors to ensure that you are safe when you enter the building. Since the pandemic began, our team has screened nearly 37,000 visitors. Many of you have seen our team's COVID work from your homes. To provide you with ongoing information and answers to your COVID-19 questions, our hotline team has answered nearly 4,900 calls. Our public information officer has maintained our social media, created and shared information sheets and graphics, updated the website, and has helped organize webinars and community, with community partners to keep you informed online. Our health education team has worked with community partners to distribute print resources and masks in the community and has maintained a COVID email subscription service, which now has nearly 1,700 subscribers and has disseminated nearly 500 emails containing critical information. Our work continues when cases of COVID are confirmed. When we receive information on confirmed COVID-19 cases, we enter this data to monitor trends in case growth and areas of concern. We share data on our data dashboard to keep you all informed. Each case is much more than just a number on the dashboard. Each time a Durham resident tests positive for COVID-19, our contact investigators reach out to provide isolation instructions, check in with them during their recovery, and get in touch with all close contacts. As of this week, we have surpassed more than 10,000 contacts entered into our system, each one individually by a contact investigation team member. Beyond simply providing isolation quarantine guidance, when residents notify us during our contact investigation process that they need food resources while they stay at home, our Food Security Task Force works to purchase and deliver groceries for these families in need. None of the work I've described today would be possible without the hard work of our interpretation team, which works to ensure all guidance and resources are also available to our non-English speaking community while continuing to provide interpretation services for residents who visit our clinics. I want to be clear, Durham, the employees fulfilling these roles were not hired specifically for our COVID response. Instead, they have stepped into these roles while maintaining their regular job responsibilities and adapting to this new normal. Our clinics continue to provide services to visitors while following COVID safety guidelines. Our environmental health team continues to conduct inspections as businesses reopen. Our nutrition team offers home cooking demos and videos shared on our YouTube channel. And our health education team conducts webinars and virtual support groups in lieu of in-person meetings. These are not all the ways the health department is working to keep you and the community safe. Because this pandemic is far from over, our work continues. Moving forward, I will begin addressing you every other week instead of on a weekly basis. But please know that we are still working harder each day to protect you during this public health emergency and to provide you with the medical services you need every day. While you will no longer see me in these videos each week, please continue to ask questions and call our hotline to find the information you need. I will continue to share information when I address you all every other week. With all of us working together as a community, we can do this, Durham. 